What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and for those of you who are new Don't forget to subscribe down below if you do enjoy today's video guys But basically today, I'm pretty sure you guys saw from the title and thumbnail But we're gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do to my car ever since um, Ever since I had the 535, I always wanted to do this I just, I didn't have many knowledge about it I didn't really know like what sizing I needed and stuff like that Especially if you have spacers and all that stuff So um, I finally pulled the trigger and I got it um, I was gonna order it on like FCP or Motorsport Hardware, but fortunately I found it locally. Uh, the brand is from Motorsport Hardware, but somebody was selling it locally, so I picked up a set of, for mine. I did get them a little bit longer because I do plan on running spacers uh, soon. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into it, guys. Here we have the actual kit that came in. You guys can see the studs. They're a little bit longer than, uh, I think the smallest size you can get is 60. Uh, these are 75 and then I just got them with the regular nuts for now. Maybe later on we'll actually upgrade them to something more like uh, I don't know something nicer, but for now I just want to do this anyways guys There's literally like no information online on doing uh, studs on the M5 um, I know it's installing it. It's pretty much the same as any other car, but um, I'd like to say I'm one of the first people who are actually documenting like their whole entire build with the M5. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly like which sizes I'm getting, uh, spacers, so you guys can really see how you like it and what you should go with. Um, I am going with 12 all around, only because again, there's not many people online that really show what they get. Uh, I've seen people get 12, 10, 15, and I decided to do 12 all around and see how it looks and then go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this. It came with a little paper that tells you what torque to put everything at so 25 pounds of torque for the studs and 105 105 pounds of torque for the actual nuts on the m5 and any other f10 uh, again this is not just for the m5 guys so different bmws have different threads the, the actual f10 chassis has um 14 by 1.25 so that's what i got i'm pretty sure there's other f series chassis that has this but Specifically to that end, I know for sure it has the 14 by 1.25. I do have my studs here as well as blue medium strength thread locker is what they recommended. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the actual wheel, take everything off, get everything ready to show you guys. Got my torque wrench here as well. And yeah, let's get straight into it guys. Alright guys, so I took off the wheel already just because you guys don't need to see all that. Uh, excuse like how dirty everything is. Um, I, have, I still haven't been able to wash the car. This is actually the day after I did the brake pads. I haven't been able to wash the car yet. And this is all from the brake pads, from the lube. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so these are the studs. And then I got the blue thread locker. Uh, just put a little bit of thread locker on here. I think just like a little bit all the way around. You guys can see how it looks. I don't think you're supposed to put a lot. Um, so yeah. And then just go ahead and uh, start putting it in. It's right there, it's pretty tight. Now I do have my torque wrench right here, which I'm gonna use to tighten it. Okay, so mine has for 24 or 26 pounds. You're supposed to tighten it down to 25. So just to be safe, I'm gonna do 24, and then just do a little bit extra. I'm gonna insert a flathead up here, just to hold the rotor from churning. Hopefully that works. Yeah, there you go. There we go. And this one should not be good. That's how it looks. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to all of the other ones. I think what I see people do is just put like, oh, that's a good amount. A little down one side, and then a dot on the other side. And then put it on. So that's what I'm gonna do instead. And just like that guys, they're all on. Should be on pretty good the screwdriver out so it won't hold it anymore now I can actually put on the wheel and put on the the nuts and we can see how it looks so now I'm gonna put on the nuts now it says nuts should be torqued down to 105 that's what I'm gonna do just to be safe I guess because I'm pretty sure the brand knows their stuff better than anybody else so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I don't have an impact on me right now if I did though, I would uh, screw all of them in with the impact, not tied in, uh, just screw them in like just enough and then uh, go ahead and torque it down, but I gotta do it by hand. Alright, so this, this is not what it looks like with the studs, the stud conversion kit. I think it looks pretty cool to be honest, 
Um, it could look better with like longer uh, nuts. I know they sell like longer nuts, uh, which are like race nuts or something, which do look pretty cool. But this is without the spacer yet, so uh, we're gonna see how it looks after we install the spacer, how much like thread is left and stuff to see if it would actually look good with longer nuts or not. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. This is with the stud conversion. And then this would be without the stud conversion over here, which looks normal, it looks fine either way. I've just always wanted to do the stud conversion kit and I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's what it looks like guys. I'll have to go ahead and do the same thing to all other three wheels. It's just that the rain just started again. So I'm gonna see right now if I take a little break to see if it actually starts raining or not and then I'll get back to it. All right guys, it looks like it's not really gonna rain right now. So let's go ahead and continue. Hopefully we finish the rest before it actually starts to rain. Um, I think I'm gonna do the rest on a time lapse. So sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, so, as you guys can see, the night beat me to it, um, it's barely like 5 something p.m. But um, you guys can see the front ones, I finished this side as well, you guys can see how they look, I think it looks pretty cool, very different from what like the original bolts look like. Um, but yeah, I've always like seen these on Instagram and stuff and I've always wanted to do it, but we come to the back, you guys can see the back as well, which is not as out as the front obviously because it's, it has staggered wheels. Um, which is totally cool with me. Again, the, the fronts might look like this after with the spacers. And then these, you might be able to see them even a little bit less. Um, but again, it's pretty cool. I don't really mind. You guys can see how they look. Right there. If we go to the other side, it's the same thing. But just to show you guys. And I actually have five now. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I only had four bolts on this one. And my uh, driver front. Because the other ones got stripped. So I finally did this. I've been wanting to do it, so yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. You guys can uh, decide for yourself, I guess. But yeah, poor wheel is all messed up. I'm hoping to get them done soon. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Would you guys want me to do the matte black again? Or should I do like a gloss black or like a metallic gloss black or something? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I actually really like the matte, but at the same time, I kind of want to do something a little bit different. Yeah, here's the fronts as well. You can't really see the studs from this far, but yeah. Finally, one more mod down on the M5. Been wanting to do this for so long. Anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and end this video. If you did like, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Hopefully, I was able to help a few of you guys out. Again, the studs are 75 millimeter long, and then it's just a regular uh, nuts. I got it off, well, I got it locally, but they're from motorsporthardware.com. Go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Not sponsored or anything like that. Um, it's just I know this is a brand that a lot of people go with and Yeah, soon you guys will see how the car looks with spacers and the studs and everything and uh, yeah That video might be coming out next keep an eye out for that But uh, yeah with all that being said guys once again I hope you guys like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out